Well, hello again, everybody. Um, it's now week five. And for this week, the mini chomp challenge of the big bite um, challenge is going to be envelopes. So <laughs> we're going to do envelopes today. Right, so you can use any envelopes that you have. Um, if you've got some envelopes from junk mail, that's great. Um, all you would have to do is um, just paint over them with some acrylic paint. You could um, gesso or gesso, gesso them first and, um, you know, or just paint a few layers of paint over them. You can tea dye them, coffee dye them, um, food dye them, all sorts of food colouring um, dye them, all sorts of things like that. So, okay, I've got um, these two here. Uh, this was just a white envelope that I had. And when I did my batch of papers, when I dyed them with my powdered food colouring, uh, this is how it came out. And then I've got this little mini, it's a pearlized one, so it wasn't obviously as pink. But again, I just um, did that as well at the same time. <coughs> um, so to save a bit of time as well, I've just inked around the edges. And if you're not sure, the ink I'm using is um, Ranger, the Distress Oxide Gather Twigs. Now, <laughs> they've actually both got Distress um, Oxide on them, but one is... Um, one is the oxide and the other is just the distress ink. I don't know why they came like that. But um, the difference being, if you're not sure, they're the same shade, um, colour. But with the distress oxide inks, you'll find that they are more opaque and they will sort of cover darker cards or papers a little bit more. The, the um, other one is more distress ink, is more translucent. So I just mix between the two, really. Um, so, yeah, these are the two envelopes that I'm using today. And uh, what I'm going to do, because I haven't done this before. So, again, we're learning together. I'm also using this one here. Now, this is one that um, it's an archival ink whispers, permanent waterproof raised dye based ink pad. Um, I got that, I think in or off a d-stash group on facebook so i'm going to have a go with this <coughs> please excuse me got a bit of a cough and i'm using this stencil now i've got a pack of these stencils i got these i think off ebay but you can get them off aliexpress ebay amazon wherever and so i'm going to give this a go and this brush here it's um um, you can get them again, same places, eBay, Amazon, um, probably AliExpress. And they're makeup brushes, flat makeup brushes. And they're the ones I use. So I'm just going to place um, this stencil here. And I'm going to hope this works. As I say, um, it may or may not work. So we'll give it a go. And I'm just going to brush over. Having a look here, I don't think it's going to be dark enough, but we will try nonetheless. Trying not to wobble my table too much so it doesn't wobble the arm of my phone camera there. So this is the idea. Oh yeah, actually that's not bad at all. So that's the effect. So I'm going to do it. Um, up in the other corner as well so let me just I'm going to just take this to the side and give it a, a good old mush in the pad there like that okay so just placing this over again and just brushing through this bit here now you could also I suppose clip this down but this is fine it's working working well there we go yeah I think that's really pretty so um, that's an effect that you can do with your stencils I might just do a flower in the middle because why not again I'm not particularly worrying about where I'm placing this so it may or may not be in the middle but 
It's just to give a little bit of interest on the card, on the uh, paper here. Yeah, that's really pretty. So that's a nice effect that you can do. On the back, I'll do uh, those two, I think. Like that, just down on the bottom. So yeah, that's literally all you have to do, smush your brush. That's a technical word, by the way, smush. <laughs> and just rub them round on the stencil, like that. And a little bit more. So I hope you're enjoying the challenge, the Big Bite challenge so far and sort of crafting along with us all as we're doing it. So and there we go. Yeah, really pretty. I like that. So that's the first step. And then um, what I'll do, I'll just do something on this little one as well. I'll put that to one side. Um, maybe just the flower in the middle. See how that goes. Because as I say, it's um, pearlized paper. So it's obviously not quite the same as um, a normal paper. So we'll see how that goes as well. Might do it all round, actually, just to... Oh, yeah, that, that's really pretty. That came out really well. Hope you can see that. Okay. Um, on the back, I will do, do it this way. Like that. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more ink on the brush. And then just... I mean, that's part of the fun of it, is trying things that you haven't done before. So, yeah, hope you can see that, as I say. So that's the back and that's the front. So you've got the base of your um, envelope there. Let me just put the lid on so they don't dry out. OK, so I think what I'm going to do um, next is I've got this stamp and, again, it was probably from a de-stashing group off Facebook or you can get similars just um, sort of a text writing stamp and then I'm going to use my gathered twigs and make sure I have got it the right way up just stick that Like that. So I'm just doing a little bit of um, text ping like this. A little bit in that corner, and I just turn turn it over and just do some up here. Again, not being fussy with where it's going but I think it just does a nice bit of interest to the envelope that's fine so there we have that so far and I'll just do the same to the other one There we are. So that's stamped. Now the thing is as well, I think because it's pearlized, you do have to wait till it's really dry, which I'm probably not going to be doing now. Otherwise it could smudge. But you get the idea. So that's that. So again, put the lid on. So now what I've done is I've um, I've made these little stamps. I just had little 
pictures that I had and um, I just stuck those onto it was a, just a bit of old um, a thicker paper that I had um, I haven't got a small enough serrated edge pair of scissors so they're slightly fancy cut um, but I think they work great as stamps as well so uh, let's have a look which one I'm going to choose for this I think I'll choose that one okay so I'm just going to glue that on the envelope please excuse if you can hear some drilling out um, in the background I think it might be my husband Jeff doing something uh, out in the yard there so just stick that there okay, so we've got our little stamp and I'm going to do that on this one but I'm gonna I've made a smaller stamp so I'm going to use that little one on there as I say I really would invest in these um, you know just have a look that you can get them in all sorts of places eBay um, Amazon I, I got my set on um, again a, a Facebook crafty stashing group those scissors that have all the fancy edges because you can do quite a lot of um, you can make the stamps you can do all sorts and as I say this isn't dry yet I can tell and I haven't put my heat gun on it to dry it but this is I don't want it obviously to be too long again this um, tutorial right so we've got our stamps on It'll take time to stick, but there we are. So we're, we're going along there. Now, um, you could draw them on as well. You don't have to um, make them, but, you know, they're easy enough to make. So then I've got these um, ink stamps uh, and they go onto this acrylic block. Now, this one's small. I've got two. So I'm going to use a larger one, obviously, for the larger envelope and the smaller one for the smaller envelope. Now, again, if you don't have these stamps, these, again, were very cheap, I think, off eBay. You can draw wiggly lines and do a draw around a, a penny or something like that. That would work as well. So just pop that on there. And then that's going to go here. Just press down. There we are. So we've got the stamp mark on there. For that one and then let me just do that for the larger one so just bring that in make sure it's stamped perfect okay so have that and then you can leave them as is if you want to or um, you can also find some little bits and pieces and put them on if you've got some little fussy cuts you know you can just add them onto your envelopes there's that one uh, and little pin cushion that I might put on there or I might stick it on here I think I quite like that on that one actually so yeah let me just glue that there because as you <coughs> all know I'm doing a vintage sewing journal so let me just get that glued on in the corner there we go and I think I'm going to glue the tapers dummy on there so I think um, last time I might have said I was using Fabri-Tac but it was actually in this bottle it is three in one which is very similar to Fabri-Tac but it's um I'll keep calling it Fabri-Tac I do use Fabri-Tac sometimes but this is my three in one glue 
if you see me going like this it's just getting rid of the little glue threads there we are so that will stick on there um and then what am i going to put the other side got this let's stick that on next so this is just um i think it's a die cut but it came in a set that i had and i've had it in my stash for ages so i'm going to use it try and keep in shot There we are, that's a little thin needle and spool holder. No, these are fiddly, so... I mean, something like this, you, uh, really, I suppose I should have used my um, oh, glit glitter glue because it's got a very thin nozzle. I'll show it to you in a sec. Let's get this glued on. Okay, right, and that will go here like that. Now I've got a little, a little splodge of glue there, so I'm just sort of getting this cotton bud. That just takes that away. Yeah, there we are. Let me just put my lid on my glue so it doesn't dry out. Okay, so I'm happy with those. I was going to show you my um, art glitter glue. So this is it here. Um, it doesn't contain glitter, it's just called art glitter glue. And you can buy this little nozzle for it so you can see it's really thin which is good for precise work. So that's that there. Sometimes I use that too. So there we have the two envelopes. Now, what I'm going to do is post up. Um, you can print them out if you haven't got any wax seals, because I love making wax seals here. I've got um, I've taken a picture of some of mine. So you can just cut them out of paper. You can cut past the ribbons so you don't have to fussy cut them all out or if you've got some ribbon you can put some ribbon underneath and then stick um, just the circular wax seal image um, and stick it on top like that so I'm gonna I think stick uh, that wax seal on there and that little one may be on there like that um, now for this I always tend to use my E6000 there's a whole range of these glues so um, I don't know sort of uh, what the other one B7000 or there's all different ones 6000 six um, so they're all very similar I think they're just slightly different formulations I haven't found out really the difference between them but um, I just find it's um, and again you've got a very precise nozzle so I'm gonna just stick stick my wax seal on back with these now I've never found a problem uh, with wax seals you know they're how long they last or if they break or whatever they've always been really good and I have got tutorials how to do the wax seals both with the glue gun type thing and um, with the burner method in my other tutorials that you can always have a look at and you can do all sorts of them they're great you can I've used um, buttons and all sorts to make the print from but uh, uh, you know as I say it shows you all on the tutorials and that I'm gonna just stick here again I'm not measuring if it's dead in the center but yeah I think they just sort of finish it off and they look really pretty so as I say, it just takes time to dry, but just for the purposes now, I'm going to flip it over. That's that envelope. I'll just pop that there. And that's 
that envelope you can also embellish with lace around the edges or you know anything you want to do let me just put this uh, there's a little stopper pin that goes in there um i will show you just another one i sort of tried out so this is my other attempt so with this one what i did was it was the same um batch that i did one that i've shown you and i just put um the napkin on instead first of all uh, but with my um what did i use the other sealer that i use a decoupage it had a very shiny sort of finish so then over the top i used my liquid tex uh, matte gel okay so that was that and it was just to take away sort of some of the shine i like it though because it looks it's got a great feel to it and looks um very sort of worn and vintage so as i say that was just one that i did um earlier but this is just to show you how you can do um your envelopes i know that uh our lovely admin sarah has uh printed out uh sorry not printed out she's made some digits of um different envelopes as well that you can have a look at so you can either use printed out digits um that you can make up or you know you can just use junk envelopes as well so i hope uh you know you've enjoyed this tutorial you're very welcome if you want to subscribe as well to my channel and have a look at the other ones and carry on uh creating and again we'd love to see your finished envelopes um, up in the group that's great thank you very much bye bye